All right, let's now shift our attention to the other side of the globe, to the South American continent where Brazil is now emerging as a COVID-19 hotspot, with almost about 300,000 cases having been reported there. The pandemic has also claimed nearly about 19,000 lives in the Latin American nation so far. But for Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, the pandemic, he says, is nothing more than a little flu and is actually a political battle that he'll have to fight it out. Now, often referred to as the tropical Trump, Bolsonaro seems to share his U.S. counterpart's enthusiasm for wonder drug, chloroquine. Now, Trump admitted that he is in fact taking hydroxychloroquine as medication to ward off COVID-19. And now, believe it or not, his good friend that you're looking at in the same frame on your screens is advocating for the wide use of the hydroxychloroquine medicine, which is generally administered in the cases of malaria. Now, the president even went ahead to say that right-wingers should take hydroxychloroquine. The statement comes a day before the government recommended the use of chloroquine to treat COVID-19 patients, even in mild cases. But experts around the world have questioned about the safety and effectiveness of these drugs. The scientists have maintained that testing is required to understand the side effects of taking hydroxychloroquine. The drugs have side effects that could result in cardiac arrest, which could end up in resulting in death. Meanwhile, the worst is yet to come for the Latin American nation. Experts believe that low testing rates in the country mean that the real figures could be at least about 15 times higher than what is officially being put out. But that has not stopped the protesters from taking to the streets. The hundreds of protesters are demanding for the restrictions to be lifted. The protesters on motorcycles and also in their cars formed a caravan and drove to a bridge at the country's border with Paraguay. So with the president's remarks and having actively taken part in the protest, Brazil continues to remain torn on how to respond to the virus. The country's largest city, Sao Paulo, remains the worst affected, followed by Rio de Janeiro. Consumers, of course, could be seen queuing up outside of local supermarkets in Rio de Janeiro's Lapa neighborhood. But this comes as authorities have extended the lockdown until the end of May. Meanwhile, hospitals in several areas are also pretty much full to their capacity as the number of cases continue to surge. And also Brazil's largest cemetery, Villa Formosa, in the state of Sao Paulo, is operating at an unprecedented rate. There are fresh graves, mass graves, that are being dug in this massive cemetery to cope with the large number of fatalities that are being reported due to COVID-19 at this point of time.